Yeah, what's up y'all? This is Aaron. Uh, we're doing a real quick video today. This is just a demo for how to load audio uh, in Scratch Track and also in any of the other uh, StageCraft software plugins, any of them that use audio. So I've had a few people email lately and they're just saying, hey, I don't know exactly how to use uh, all the, the sort of file management, like scanning your library and stuff like that. So we're going to go through it real quick. There's, there's four things we're going to go over, basically four ways to load audio. Okay. So this is Scratch Track uh, loaded up in Ableton, Ableton Live, and uh, you'll notice one. You'll notice a couple things. First of all, when we let's make it a little bigger. When we uh, when we start up, any of the plugins that use audio will usually give you some to begin with, right? So the default preset has some audio already in it. Scratch Track is for scratching, so um, yeah. right. This kind of stuff. Um, but I should note that uh, all the plugins, Loop Lab, all the plugins that use um, use these things work in the same way. So you can scratch just like that uh, on the audio uh, in any of them. So okay, so first way to to get audio is just loading presets, right? When you start it up, you should see some audio. There's a bunch of presets in here. They all have different audio attached to them. Um, one of my big projects is to build more of those to give you a bigger preset library to make all of that more accessible. So look for that coming soon. Um, second way is just to drag and drop a file. Um, this is most people's preferred way. Now we're going to have an issue in Ableton because as soon as I open up the finder to find a file, you see it hides um, the plugin. Um, but let me see. I think it's got it down here. Yeah, I already added it. Great. Um, here's a folder on my desktop, make music, and here's, you know, subfolders and all that. Let me just grab this one, drag and drop. Um, in my case, I can drop it right on the turntable, which is what I just did. Um, or uh, anything that has, uh, anything that has uh, audio usually has these sample players, right? Which are what's holding the audio. So I can drag one of these down here and drop it. Should give me an icon. I don't know why it's not giving me an icon. Um, drop it right onto one of these, just like that. Uh, or you can drop it directly onto this wave player, right? So you got some options. You got three or four places you can drop audio. And it should work just fine. Um, okay, if that's not your jam, we also have a menu here, which is also here, right? Um, I've already scanned, so there's a bunch there. We'll get to that. A um, few different options. Open file, scan for audio, browse online. So we're just going to go through these briefly. Uh, open file, just what you expect. Here's an open file dialog. Um, go to the desktop. Let's open this one. Click open. There it is. Right? Yeah! All right, done. Um, let's see. That should have... I guess it's less than a minute. Um, okay, so... Another way is this one, scan for audio. Uh, this is now the library management aspect, right? So we'll go back and look at that menu in a second that has all of our files on it. But here we want to add here. We'll remove it so we can add a file. Um, add any of the folders that we want to scan. In my case, I put them all in here. Uh, and then I hit scan. There it goes, scanning through all of them. Now, um, this can take a while. It's a pretty big folder, so I'm going to hit cancel. All good, tells me it's complete, and whatever it managed to scan will now be on these two menus, right? Tracks is anything that's over a minute long, by the way. Um, so this is gonna evolve too, you'll see this get better, it's because this can be a huge number of samples, I need to put like a search bar up here somewhere and a few other sort of advanced things, but not there yet. Uh, okay, finally, you can browse online. So there's one down here for browse online. You can also, uh, this little magnifying glass will get you to a similar place. Um, if you open this, you get, this is like our preset and um, audio browser, right? So let's see, West Coast. There we go, West Coast Wave. Young and Fresh, West Coast 4, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we're in a DJ app. Let's type in DJ, and here's all our DJ related stuff. Um, these are packs. I'm going to go into them and show you how that works. The important thing to know about that, this, is that these are online, right? So you may have to download some of this content. You may have to purchase some of this content, right? There's a lot of free stuff on here. 
but it's not all free because I've gotten it from uh, you know producers all over the world, some of whom are um, get paid for this stuff. Um, so a couple things to note about this browser: you can search audio or you can search presets, right? And you can search in list mode or pack mode. Um, this is all like. This looks okay, but this is going to change this part of it a little bit because I, I'm thinking up better ways to sort of represent this. But right now, here's search for DJ. Here's all the DJ related stuff. If I scroll down, that's probably the end of it. Yeah. Um, it's online, so if you scroll to the bottom, it'll keep refreshing and giving you more, uh, except in this case, that's all there is to it. Let's go in. Um, our buttons are explore, purchase. I want to explore the DJ toolkit. Here's all the samples, right? click on the sample, it brings up some info about it over here. Like I said, that's got to be redone. It's not looking great. Um, we can preview yeah, yeah. these files. And then if I want to load one, I like that chant. Okay, uh, load that. Oh yeah, and this one doesn't, doesn't currently disappear. You should probably make it disappear when you hit load too, but it did load. There you go. That's cool. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's it. That's our four ways, right? You can scan, you can open directly, you can drag and drop, you can open through presets. I guess there's five ways. Um, and you can go online and look at presets and audio uh, and download all day long. Should have lots of ways to get audio into Scratch Track. Again, this also goes for Armory, Echo Thief, Loop Lab. Any other uh, plugin that is a StageCraft software plugin that uses audio is going to do it in basically the same way. So, cool. That's it. Have a good day.